It is a massive stretch of coastline that's been affected by all this, uh, more than 100 miles or so uh, from Israel's northern coast right down uh, towards where the Gaza Strip uh, begins. And environmental officials are saying that this is the worst environmental disaster to hit this coastline in recent years. Now, over the weekend, thousands of volunteers, now joined by uh, soldiers, have been trying to clear as much of the beach as they can. You can see the kind of painstaking work this is. A lot of the tar is embedded below the sand. And if you just uh, scoop around, you're often finding uh, bits of it like this. This is incredibly sticky stuff. So you can see the real problem with that. Uh, they've had to ask people now to register before they just show up at the beach because of the potential uh, toxic nature uh, of that stuff. They don't just want people showing up and uh, getting covered with it. It's already caused significant damage. There's been harm to some birds, to sea turtles. Uh, and also, one environmental official said that the real problem is that a lot of the tar is on the underside of rocky reefs that are in the shallow waters that are only visible, only accessible when it comes to low tide. So that's why this could take a really long time to sort out. How did it all happen? Well, that remains something of a mystery. The Israeli government is using marine tracking data, also uh, satellite information from a European agency. They think the most likely scenario is a ship out at sea, around 30 miles out at sea, probably around a week ago uh, or a bit more, and that there was an undeclared oil spill. And they're using all that information to try and close in at the moment on around nine different vessels that they think could be the culprits, uh, but so far no definitive answer on that. They think the slick itself is under control. They've been using uh, planes to try and monitor it, and that has largely dissipated. So now it is just this clear-up work. One local environmental official here described it as a catastrophe and said it could take many months or even years to fully clear it up.